What is up YouTube? It's your boy Angler Boy T Black checking in with a whole nother video, y'all. I came out here back to Long Key Bridge down in the Florida Keys. My favorite fishing spot, new fishing spot in the whole wide world, y'all. I hooked up on a ton of look down. I'm telling you guys, you guys gonna love this video. I see in the comments, you guys been asking me for a look down catch, clean and cook. And guess what, y'all? Here it is. So stick around for another lit video, y'all. got off come on buddy come on got him oh yeah that's a good size that's a good size looker self-release on the right side of the deck though Oh, he whacked that thing. Heck yeah. Another nice one, baby. Let's get it, baby, on the thumper. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. What's this for the company? Oh, 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 that's a good fighting eat looker. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, nice looker, baby. On the thumper shrimp. Yeah, baby. Every time. I see some bigger ones back there. See if I could get over there with only a quarter ounce. Oh, I 
I missed him. Oh, he whacked it. Ah, oh. swinging him instead. They going wild over here right now. Got him. Ooh, two jigs and a snag, baby. That's how I like it. Two jigs. Ooh, the bigger ones are back there. Give me my shrimp back. Give me my jig back. Give it to me. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. I got my two biggest look down from the day right here. I'm gonna clean one to cook whole. That'll be the smaller one. And then I'm gonna fillet up the bigger one and show you guys how much meat we get off here. So let me show y'all that. Got my Danko right here. Let's try to get this done nice and quick. These fish, y'all, they have a lot of head meat. And then the meat, you just fillet it off like anything else. But what I like to do personally, I feel with my finger along the outside. Then what I'll do is I'll start at the top. Even though they have head meat, I like to start right here at this horn section, this top, and then I just outline it. I just drag the tip of my knife, make sure your knife's sharp, straight through, all the way around, through the tail like that. I'm just poking through, making an incision, and then I go right back, and now I'm starting to lay my knife, guys. So once you get a little peel, you lift that little flap up and then you go up, continue to fillet like you would any other fish. Getting as much meat off that rib cage as you can. As you guys can see, I'm getting a good job there. So I'm gonna continue to do that. Y'all stay with me, stay with me. Now we get to the tail, I like to rotate my knife down just like that y'all i like to press it into that head meat and then continue to fillet now here you go over the rib cage over that spine right there and then you just continue i like to press down angle down and push straight through just like that all the way through the tail and then i continue i turn the fish a little bit and then I just continue right over that rib cage, just like that, all the way down through the bottom, just like that. And then I turn it around. And what I like to do is to get that head meat, poke down, around, lift that up. I got my fillet right there. And then I'm gonna just come out right down here just like that. I'm still attached here, so I'll go underneath. Get all of that head meat. Check that out, y'all. Nice fillet job. And then, that's your fillet, y'all. Check out that nice fillet. It's a nice amount of meat on there, y'all. Believe it or not. So now we're gonna go and skin it. I like to bring it to the edge of my cutting board bring my cutting board back a little bit get the flex of your knife and then you just lay it flat and run it down y'all I'm gonna attack this rib cage section first because these fish are pretty long pretty wide and you don't want too much of that skin on there so just like that and this this fish has skin like a jack or something y'all so just like that I left a lot of skin on there but I'll just take it off slowly, just like this, y'all. These fish were pretty thawed, so it wasn't the easiest to do this, but y'all understand what's going on here. I'm 
gonna just get some more of that skin off. Majority. Pull, pull and peel if I could. Just like that, y'all. We got our nos fillet. There's the rest of the skin there. Like I said, it got like yellow jack skin or any jack skin for that matter. And then I'm gonna just take my bones out. These fish don't have bones that go all the way through, so you don't have to completely separate it. Just like that. Feel for my rib cage. Let's take those pin bones out really quick. All right, y'all, got that one side done. Now I'm gonna just flip her over and get that other side. Start from the horn here. I like to penetrate it through like that. All the way, outline my fish first. Just like that. Start from this flap right here, right where that head meat starts. And then I'll go down, separating, turn it around. Lift and slide, y'all, just lift and slide. Just like that. Now I got a nice flap. I could just continue, go back forward. Over that spine. Just like that, we made it. Angle my knife down. Just like that. Continue through to the other side, press down. All the way out through the tail. Now, I turn it, find the head meat, and then separate that fillet by poking the tip of my knife through. Just like that. Find any places still connected. Just like that. And there you have it, y'all. It's a pretty good fillet job, if I do say so myself. That carcass, let's poke the eyes so he sinks whenever he makes it back to the ocean. Just like that. Now I'll fillet him. Let's skin him. Press down, this knife very flexible. You don't wanna go through on the other side like I did on the first side, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of meat on this one. Just so I don't go too far through that that skin just like that got that off Let's see where we still connected we connected there oh my goodness I'm making a mockery of this thing let's try to peel it this is real y'all that's why you always want your fish more frozen or closer to frozen than it is thought out in my case mines were a lot more thought out than i wanted them but i'm gonna just salvage what i can this was for demonstration purposes i had these setting on ice for a whole day the ice started to melt and this is what i was left with the only two fish that were left in the cooler i wanted to make a catch and cook and show y'all how much meat comes off this you guys can still see that though but that's the other fillet just like that i'm gonna get both of those together and then i'm gonna show y'all how i like to cook them i cook them just like anything else it tastes like a sheep head just imagine sheep head meat but thinner literally that's exactly what it tastes like so i'm gonna just taste it give y'all some examples of what it looks like i'm gonna just hit it with some salt some pepper and some my favorite seasoning in the whole wide world red lobster signature season and we're gonna see what we can't do but that's right after y'all i'll show y'all how to quick clean this one all right y'all real quick this is how you quick clean a look down or a moon fish you just take your knife scale them he don't really got too much scales these fish don't really have too much scales super super thin scales similar to like a mackerel or something if y'all can see that on the tip of the knife just like that do that to both sides and it takes no more than 10, 20 seconds, y'all. 
once you scale it. After you scale it, it should take no more than a whole minute to start to finish clean this fish. But what you want to do is take your knife and angle down over the eye just like this and find that head meat section. Or you can squeeze both sides just like this. And once you do, you lay them down, lift the head like this. And just make a cut right above that eye between that head meat. And then you know all fish have rib cage. This rib cage, you can feel it. It comes like right around here behind this fin, the anal fin. And then what you want to do is just make that nice cut and come straight down, just like that. Come at an angle down. And then you can knock off the body, I mean the head and the guts at the same time. Just like that, y'all. And then you take your finger, go in there, or your knife, scrape that out, rinse it out. And that's what you're left with, y'all. Nice little look down slab because you could just slap this on the grill you can score it let's just score it just like that i'm doing this quick y'all and probably in my worst demonstration but y'all see what's going on i'm gonna get all this cleaned up get some cooking set up and we're gonna see what we can't make out of this y'all all right y'all i got my propane set up right here get that turned on just like that, we got fire, baby. Sit this on top of here. Just like that, y'all. I like these super simple catch and cooks with y'all. I hate that my fish fillets came out how they came out, but everything don't always go as planned, y'all, but we gonna still make it happen. Cause I wanna show you guys how much meat and how it looks once it's cooked as well. So we just gonna make this happen together, y'all. I've been getting a lot of flack in the comments lately about different things, but as long as every, everybody stay respectful, I ain't never tripping. So let's get into this, y'all. That's our first filet right there. Just like that. It didn't come out too bad now that I look at them. Those are still de pretty decent for me to have to filet this fish uh, while it was thawed out. Let's move this around so it doesn't stick on me. But I got a salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt, y'all. Just like that on the first side. Gotta go with that red lobster signature, at least a little bit. This stuff coming out lumpy. Might have gotten wet. There we go. Everything trying to fail me today, but I'm not gonna let it happen. And being that these fillets are pretty thin, y'all, it don't take too long for them to start cooking halfway through. Just like that, flip that over. That way I can season the other side. Just crank that up a little bit. Just like that. A little bit of pepper. First side. Super simple, y'all. Salt, pepper, and then your favorite. You could go lemon pepper, signature season, whatever you want. You just get creative. Just like that, y'all. That's cooking nicely. Check it out, y'all. Just like sheep head, it's super white once it's fully cooked. Like right now, it's getting to that fully cooked, almost fully cooked marker. And it's already super white, y'all. Let's break off a piece here and show y'all. Look at that, y'all. Super white meat, flaky too. Oh yeah. That's ready, just like that, in a minute, y'all. Literally in a minute. Check that out. Fully cooked, super white. Right here I got some lettuce, some mayo, some mustard. Super quick, simple little sandwich. Let's get that first filet on there. Just like that, y'all. Look at that. Woo! Beauty. She's a beauty. Get these last two pieces on there. I say I did pretty well, y'all. 
check that out that's not bad for a quick catch and cook quick quick super quick get that last piece right on there somewhere underneath set that up oh yeah that's a nice sandwich y'all check that out literally made in two minutes three minutes five minutes max we got the red lobster signature seasoned salt and pepper on that flaky white look down y'all it's so juicy look at that mm. mayo and mustard for the condiments just lettuce underneath there it's a beautiful aesthetically pleasing sandwich if i do say so myself look at that y'all beautiful flaky sheep head like look down catch clean and cook check out that sandwich baby only lettuce my favorite three seasonings mayo and mustard my favorite two condiments my favorite type of bread in the whole wide world cuban bread and then that look down the star of the show y'all so let's take a bite mm. Tastes just like a sheep head, y'all. I swear. Just like a sheep head. Nice and flaky. Super white meat. There it is, y'all. One more bite. And then I'm going to let you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe to let me know what you think. Even though I know this wasn't my best filet job, y'all because my fish were kind of mushy already. Not mushy, but they were already thawed out. I would like them a lot more firm when I started that filet job, but it turned out just as great as if I didn't mess up that job, so. Super tasty sandwich. Thank you guys for watching. I love and appreciate you guys. And after this, nice, this last bite, I'm gonna let you guys get out of here. Well, guys, I got to finish finish my food, grab myself a napkin, do some editing, pay a couple bills. So thank you guys for all the likes, comments, and subscribes. I love and appreciate you guys, but peace. See you in the next one, y'all.